like yourself. I mean, How you doing, my sister? You just, so what he was showing you was nationality. Who would you consider right now? All right, okay. your nationality is okay. there, all right? What nation do you from? bear witness to what we got on these pictures. The spirit bears witness, right? Right, so this is what happened to us in 1619 up until what, the so-called two teeth, whatever. So this is what's going on with us, right? I'm gonna show you why we don't know who we are as a nation. Some of us call ourselves a color in a crayon box. Some of us call us African-American. They may call us a Negroes. There's a reason why we don't have a definite answer of who we are, because what? If there was a Chinese man, his last name was Kim, he knows I'm from China, you know what I'm saying? Right. We don't know. We think we come a whole continent with over 50 nations. I got you, my sister. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. So we're reading up the King James Version Bible. You believe in the Bible, my sister? Ah. Uh. You see it written by man. For instance. All right, let's get, let's get the good run. Okay, so I understand. So you don't have, is there anything in here that you don't agree with? Because if I'm, I don't want to read a Bible to you, you're just like, oh, it's just a book, you know what I'm saying? I said, because read it. You said what? I can't say it. So you, I don't know what's real and what's not. Okay, I, I got you. You believe in facts. This, all right, let's get to the facts. This is factually, there's archaeological proof. Oh. Our forefathers' bones and foremothers' bones, they're in the ground. They've been mangled. They've been, you know, all that destruction happened to us. Bring right? it out. That did happen. This is facts. What can I, what am I going to show you this in detail, written thousands of years ago to happen to one nation of people? Would you, would you see that this has some, some truths to it? Some facts? I'm going to show you my sister. I know some facts there. Right, read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. No, 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. So, this is Moses speaking to a nation of people. You ever heard of the story of Moses and how he led a people of Egypt, I mean people out of Egypt, the uh, Red Sea splitting, a whole people walking through? So that man Moses, he led this one group of people, one nation out of Egypt, because they were slaves in Egypt, right. and God delivered them. And this is what he's telling those people. Now I'm gonna let you know who those people are. They are the Israelites. They're the people on this sign. Read that. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, huh? to observe, to do all his commandments. Just imagine, you see like a great wonder, right? Like you see plagues, 10 plagues happen, right? Say we all live in one area of the city. Outside of the city, you see bugs everywhere. You see water, I mean blood flowing through the rivers. Locusts everywhere, but where we're living, it's clear, it's clean. You know there's a God, right? right. You imagine you're seeing these wonders, and then you leave, you walk through a whole body of water, millions of you walk through a whole body of water, and then it closes right behind you on the, on the enemies chasing you. You just seen great wonders, so you know there is a God who's after us. Right. But this is what this God wants from us, come on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he says we had to do all his commandments. So just like a parent to a child, you must do what I say if you want to receive blessings. But if you don't do what I say, you're going to receive correction. You're going to receive reparations. I mean, you know, some, some punishment, right? Read on. That all these curses shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. God said to the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the Israelites, if you do not do all of my commandments, you will receive curses. Right. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing, my sister? Right? Because you wouldn't call this a blessing, right? Let's get the, uh... All right, let me get verse 68. Just to get right to it, because what? We're looking at this right here. We know this happened. Right. And I'm going to show you in the Bible that God told us thousands of years ago, you're going to go into slavery. Watch, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Mind you, they just walked out of Egypt, right? All right, Egypt is a, before the Suez Canal in the 1700s, you're able to walk from Egypt to Israel. Right. But they built that for some crafty council. But, so he said, I'm gonna send you back into Egypt. Egypt is synonymous with slavery. Get that, Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Oh, you gotta read that. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse two. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, 
which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, aka out of the house of bondage. So when he's referring to Egypt, he's referring to a state of bondage, slavery, right? Go back to Deuteronomy, finish it off. The book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery again. Back to slavery. With ships. My sister, who went into slavery on slave ships? That's right. I'm showing you, this is prophecy. This happened thousands, he wrote this thousands along, of years ago. Along with several other, other. We're all one nation. Right. Because if you look below Ephraim and below, the Northern Kingdom, the Hispanics and the Native Americans, they came here in 1492. They brought us here in 1619. He said to all of us, you are going to go into slave ships. Oh, slavery on slavery. This didn't happen to the white man. Right. This didn't happen to the Chinese man. Bring it this out. didn't happen to the East Indian man. Bring Those it out. The dots in their head only happened to the, because you see right here, the same atrocities happened to the whole nation. Right. right? Read on, finish that scripture. Thou shalt see it no more again. We never went back to our homeland. That's how you don't know your nationality. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Who did God call those who sold us Bring it out. when we got off those ships? What do you say, my sister? Did you hear it? What do you call them? Enemies. But well, we call them friends today. Come on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, slave men, and bond women. Black women was right with us. That's what a lot of us just don't understand. We're all one nation of people. Right. All right. And how you, how you doing, my sister? My name. My name is Sam. My name is Sam. Uh, when I was went over that. He brought out facts that the Bible is a true book. Right. The Bible is the so-called Blacks and Hispanics and Native American book. And we did go on slavery on slave ships. Right. And we had to do what? We had to serve our enemies. Now, you think we're serving our enemies today? Yes. Yes. The whole system. There you go. Break it out. There you go. You break out of it. Yes, ma'am. Everybody know, even the school system, they're not going to teach you how to break out of it. Right. They'll teach you how to fit right into it. We, and you know, need you, we need you for this. Okay, you're going to be our entertainment. You like sports? Uh-huh. Go entertain. Good. Smart system. You're a smart system. And that, and you know, they're taking out slavery out of the school system. Right. Oh, yeah. They're taking that completely out. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Some schools are saying that even with Native Americans, they just said, yeah, come take our land. We'll just move away. All right. That right. And that's what? This doctrine right here. That's right. We thinking that the white man is Christ now. They deceived the whole, whole entire world. I mean, that's, not, that's not even deceptive. That's just straight. Right. But it says exactly what it looks like. Huh. It says how, exactly how Christ look? How Christ look? The copper, the, the woolly hair, right? Hair. That's a lie. Perfect now, solution. let me get on uh, Deuteronomy. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 and the verse 48. We are still serving our enemies on uh, today. That's right. Because we did what? We broke the Most High God commandments. Right. So He sent these enemies against us to do what? To punish us. Because God, He turned He turned His face against us. Why? Because we're supposed to be, be, be keeping His laws and statutes and commandments. Right. Let's read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse forty-eight. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. He did that. Because he had to humble us down. Read. In hunger. In what? In hunger. I said you had went to Dollar Tree. Yeah. That, who owned who owned all the Dollar Trees over here? Corporations that owned by the white man. You see that thing? Through hunger? And in thirst. If you want something to drink. Aquafina water, everything water. Bring it out. Uh, all spring water, all that. Drink, soda. They own all these corporations. Right. Yeah. This is what the Bible says. This Bible says that, read. And in nakedness. If you want clothes on your back. Most of our clothes come from what? China. Bring it out. China. Read. And in want of all. Things. Uh, and what all things, birth certificate, driver license, right. even to put you in the ground, you gotta have a death certificate. Bring it out. Even that, read. That makes me, I'm sorry, you're right. That you makes go, me the, the story of Cain and Abel, how they switch sides, uh -huh. traded places. Right, because Cain, what? He killed his brother Abel, right? He took his death certificate. Right, and then he did what? Then, you know what I'm saying, he was on the safety side, right? Because, you know what I'm saying, that should not kill. Read. 
and in one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This is what the enemy did to us, sis. Put a yoke of iron upon our neck. So the, the Bible is a true book. Right. The Bible was written by who? The Most High God. Right. Through men that have understanding. Through men that were led by the Holy Spirit. That's right. They put this in us, but we can learn it today. Because, just, just imagine, if we didn't have the Bible today, we wouldn't be out here. We wouldn't be out here. The world would be chaos. Right. It would be chaos if we went for the prophets, because we the watchmen. Right. We're going we gonna to show you that too, sis. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Ooh, how had he destroyed us? How did the white man destroy the so-called blessing of Spanish and Native American? You said it all earlier. About the school system, the sports. It starts at birth. You said it birth, right. It starts at birth. Not so, even before when you're born. It's already in us from history. Right. History. They get us on the, through it's that pot, that pot, that pipeline, right? They take us to school. If you can't make it to school, they make sure you get what? They doctrine in you. Right. They make sure, okay, if you ain't gonna make, make it, they make, make you play. Make it harder for you to get a job. Right. Make it harder for you to get into school. They make it harder, harder to just Anything. go on the And yeah. this Bible prophecy. This Bible prophecy. Bring it out. Now give me all uh, Leviticus 26 and 17. Not knowing that since I see you in the sparkly eyes. You said, <laughs> yes. The Bible is I mean, true. I'm standing here now and my whole life came crashing down about two months ago. I'm uh -huh. in a hotel room. All I had was my name was $20. I was walking all the way down the street. But guess what? It ain't no coincidence that you are in front of us now. That's right. Because when I first came here, I was homeless. I was homeless. I had a wife and five kids. I ain't had no money or nothing. We stand, we stand in a, a homeless shelter. But I had brothers that I was around. I had brothers that I was around that helped me. You know what I'm saying? Because, give me um, Proverbs 20 and 24. If you find yourself around godly men, godly women, guess what? We will help you. We will help you. It ain't no coincidence that you walk. I see you walk early down, then you came back, then you set up. God is ordering your step right now, sis. That, that's what he's doing. And you don't know your own way, but he just stopped you right here. Watch this. We got a Bible. Watch this. But God do. God speaking to you now. It, it's, it's not us, sis. Watch this. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20 and verse 24. A man's going are on the law. Uh -huh. How can a man then understand his own way? It said a man's going is of the Lord's. So your right. footstep now is what? Who are the, are the Lord's? Right. Because who know you more than you? The most high. Yeah. The most I know you right. more than you. Give me all songs, songs 39 and 1. I think that's what I want. Song 39 and 1. Uh, Psalm 38, let me see, I know what it is. Psalm 37. Uh, no, Psalms 139. 139 and 1. 139 and 1. Because, knowing, knowing that, that you came down here, you know what I'm saying, you're going through uh, trials and tribulations right now, God still has your back. He still order your footsteps. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 139 and verse 1. O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. You did what? And known me. See that? God know you. He already searched you because he knew you from the beginning. Right. Now, you just got to come on down, my sister. Come on down. Because if you come on this side, you have sisters in the body that we in. That will, do it. that will teach you how to be a woman. That's right. That will teach you how to be a woman in everything like that, sis. Read that again. The book of Psalms, chapter 139 and verse 1. O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Read. Thou knowest my down sitting and he, mine uprising. He know when you down. He know when you up. Bring it up. Read. Thou understandest my thought afar off. See that? He already know what you're thinking. He already know what you're thinking, sis. So trust in the Lord with all your heart right. and lean not unto your own understanding. Read. Thou compassest my path and my lying down mm. and are acquainted with all my ways. God know all your ways, sis. He know you, sis. So guess what? It ain't no coincidence that you are here today. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.